In this lesson, you will learn how to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry of a parabola from quadratic functions given in standard form, vertex form, factored form, as well as from graphs. The vertex is the lowest or the highest point on a parabola. If a parabola opens upward, the vertex is its lowest point. If a parabola opens downward, the vertex is its highest point. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line that passes through the vertex, dividing the parabola into two equal halves. For a quadratic function in standard form, we start by finding the axis of symmetry. The equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. For the given function, a is 3, b is negative 6. Now, substitute these values into the formula. In the numerator, the negative of negative 6 equals 6. In the denominator, 2 times 3 is 6. This equals 1, right? Therefore, the axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals 1. Remember, the vertex lies on the axis of symmetry. So, the x-coordinate of the vertex is 1. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, substitute the x-coordinate back into the original function. This is going to give us negative 2, right? Therefore, the vertex is the point 1, comma, negative 2. Now, it is your turn. Please pause the video and give it a try. Since the function is in standard form, first find the axis of symmetry using x equals negative b over 2a. By the way, if you are curious about where this formula comes from, I will show you how to derive it at the end of the video. For this function, a is negative 1. Notice that the x term is missing, which means the coefficient b is 0. Now, substitute these values into the formula. This is going to give us 0. Therefore, the axis of symmetry is the line x equals 0. Since the vertex lies on the axis of symmetry, this is its x-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, substitute 0 for x into the original function. This is going to give us 5, right? Therefore, the vertex is the point 0, 5. Now, what if the quadratic function is given in vertex form? How do you find the vertex in this case? For a quadratic function in vertex form, the vertex is the point h, k. So, you just need to identify the values of h and k from the given function, but be careful about the signs. Notice that we have a negative h inside the parentheses, but the h in the vertex is positive. So, for h, we take the opposite of the number inside the parentheses. For k, both in the function and in the vertex, they have the same sign, so we take it as it is. For our example, the number inside the parentheses is negative 1, and h is the opposite of it, so it is positive 1. k is the constant term as it is, so it is equal to 6. Therefore, the vertex is the point 1, 6. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals h, which is the x-coordinate of the vertex. So, it is x equals 1. Now, try this one. First, identify the values of h and k. h is the opposite of the number inside the parentheses, so it becomes negative 7, right? k is the constant term, so it is negative 9, right? Therefore, the vertex is the point negative 7, comma, negative 9. The axis of symmetry is the line x equals h, so it is x equals negative 7, right? Now, what if the quadratic function is given in factored form? How do you find the vertex in this case? For a quadratic function in factored form, start by finding the axis of symmetry using the x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, first set y equal to 0. Then, set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. Solving the first equation, we find that x equals negative 1. Solving the second equation, we find that x equals 5. So, the x-intercepts are negative 1 and 5. Notice that the leading coefficient is positive, so the parabola opens upward. Let's consider this as the x-axis. Note that the points where the parabola intersects the x-axis are the x-intercepts. In this case, they are negative 1 and 5, right? We know that the axis of symmetry always divides the parabola into two equal halves, right? This means the axis of symmetry is at equal distance from the x-intercepts, so it is located exactly in the middle of the x-intercepts. To find it, simply add the x-intercepts and divide by 2, which is the same as finding their average. 
This simplifies to 2, right? Therefore, the axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals 2. Remember, the vertex lies on the axis of symmetry, so its x-coordinate is 2. Now, find the y-coordinate of the vertex by substituting 2 for x into the original function. This simplifies to negative 18, right? Therefore, the vertex is the point 2, comma negative 18. An alternative method is to first convert the factored form to standard form, and then follow the same steps we used in our first example. You can pause the video and take a look at the solution. Now, try this one. First, find the axis of symmetry using the x-intercepts. Set y equal to 0. Then, set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. Solving the first equation, we find that x equals 4. Solving the second equation, we find that x equals negative 6. Now, to find the axis of symmetry, add the x-intercepts and divide by 2. This simplifies to negative 1. Therefore, the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. Since the vertex lies on the axis of symmetry, its x-coordinate is negative 1, right? Now, find the y-coordinate of the vertex by substituting negative 1 for x into the original function. This simplifies to negative 5. Therefore, the vertex is the point negative 1, comma negative 5. Now, how do you find the vertex and axis of symmetry from graphs? The parabola in this graph is opening upward, so the vertex is its lowest point. To find it, you just need to identify the x and y coordinates of this point. The x coordinate is 2, and the y coordinate is negative 5, right? Therefore, the vertex is 2, comma negative 5. Remember, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that passes through the vertex, so it is x equals 2. Try this one. Find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. The parabola in this graph is opening downward, so the vertex is its highest point. The x-coordinate of this point is negative 1, and the y-coordinate is 4, right? Therefore, the vertex is negative 1, 4. The axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. Now, let me quickly show you how to derive the equation of the axis of symmetry for a quadratic function in standard form. For the corresponding quadratic equation, we can find the solutions using the quadratic formula. This gives us two solutions, one with the plus sign and the other with the minus sign. The solutions to the quadratic equation are the x-intercepts for the corresponding quadratic function. Remember, the axis of symmetry is at the midpoint of the x-intercepts, which we can find by adding the x-intercepts and dividing by 2. Now, substitute these in here. In the numerator, we can add the fractions directly because they have a common denominator of 2a. The square roots cancel out because they are the same value but with opposite signs. Negative b minus b is equal to negative 2b, right? These two cancel out. Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half, right? So, we get negative b over 2a, which is the equation of the axis of symmetry. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.